Hey everybody, welcome back to Outdoor Inspirations. My name is Blake, and as some of you know uh, that have watched the channel before, I am a outdoor lighting designer. Um, I'm still kind of new to the scene. I've only been doing this for about 10 months. Um, Kevin, who you also see in the channel, he's been doing it for a lot longer, and um, and I've been just learning the ropes and, and just trying to improve, and um, I've done some really cool projects, um, and you'll be able to see them on the screen here. I'll have Al put them up, but kind of wanted to still learn some more. And I wanna see some of the techniques that have really put people up and above on the top of the game. And so what I'm doing today is I'm gonna be reacting to the AOLP awards of 2021 and 2020, cause I haven't seen the ones from 2020, um, and kind of go through them and give you my assessment of them from the knowledge that I have and what they've done right and things that maybe someone that isn't necessarily trained in lighting wouldn't be able to tell um, if they were just to, to pull them up on the internet. So first things first, make sure you guys like the video if you do enjoy. Um, you don't have to do it now, but at least do it before you leave. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we really enjoy having new people and asking questions and all that. We're, we're ready, to, ready to be here to help anybody that needs it. So make sure you stick around and let's get right into it. So if you guys want to look at these pictures yourselves, this is the AOLP website here, um, and you can just go to awards and AOLP lighting awards. So um, that's where I'm at right here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it has who won it, um, which kind of stinks, but uh, we're going to go through them anyway. This first one. <laughs> so obviously, huge, beautiful house. It's huge, Tom, huge! They did a really good job of uplighting um, really close and grazing. So you still get a lot of the detail of the stone. You get those shadows working in with the light. A big thing with lighting design is if you're, if you're backed out too far and you're shining up against the house, you're washing it out and you're losing all the detail in the house. Especially with a stone house like this, you, you wanna make sure that you're still keeping that detail and, and showcasing the beautiful house. So that's the first thing that I really can tell. Um, I mean, obviously the photography is beautiful too. Whoever's company this is, I mean, they have a really good photographer. Um, you get the nice blue sky, uh, but that's besides the point. <laughs> um, looks like we got some path lights that are bordering this, uh, this driveway entrance area. Um, got some washes on the wall here. So you have the trees behind the wall um, you don't have the fixture behind the wall, but the tree is so close to the wall that you're able to, to do some uplights from the, the inside and be able to grab everything. It, they may have some downlighting. I can't tell. I don't think they do just because if they did that, there would be moonlighting, a, a moonlighting effect here in the middle. Um, and so I think it is all just uplighting and then here it looks like if we zoom in real close, there's some step uh, step lights that are most likely hardscape type lights where they had to drill into the, the front face of the stone steps. Um, and then those those lights shine down. And then they have a couple evergreens here in the front that they, they also put uh, some up lights on. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is just, it's incredible. So would you, would you look at this? This is actually um, our, our companies are uh, Bull Outdoor Lighting, our award-winning lighting design here. So um, I can tell you a little bit more in detail. This is before I got here, but I know this is a 25 fixture system. Um, there's a couple more pictures um, that they only show the one here, but there's some some trees that have some lights up front, a bunch of crepe myrtles, um, some uplighting on those. One of my favorite parts of this project is they have these black doors on this white house, and it's this modern farm style house. So it's I really like the style of this house. This is if I were to build a house right now, this is probably the style that I would go with. And so what we did was go in with some core drills, which we usually do around the garage doors. Um, but normally what we'll do is we'll center them on the, the garage door and um, it'll give that V shape and you'll, you'll get to see um, the garage door. Usually it's a, a lighter color if it's white or maybe a, a, a gray or something like that. Um, it, it, I like the look of it. But when you have this black door here, you, you get all the light soaked up by that, that, um, the black door, the black paint because um, black doesn't reflect as, as well as white does. And so what we did instead was we bordered 
the, the edges of the door. So um, it frames it in nicely. You get a dark spot in the middle, but it doesn't seem out of place. Um, and so that's, I really like that um, and how Kevin, uh, Kevin was the one to design this and implement it. Um, it looks, it looks awesome. So yeah, that's enough. I don't want to talk too much about our stuff because I don't want to seem like we're bragging or anything, but that's, that's the one thing that I would highlight there is, is those dark doors and, and what we did over there. All right. So this one, well, first of all, this picture is awesome. Like the reflection in the, in the lake slash pond or whatever this is, is insane. Um, and I like how they, it seems like that they used more 3000 Kelvin or maybe even higher on this project. Usually what we do is we use 2700 Kelvin, um, which Kelvin, if you don't know, is the, the warmth of the light. So 2700 is more of a warm, um, amberish color. And then when you get up, it's more of that white, like when you get up to 5000 Kelvin, it's like the pure white, like commercial lighting type of thing. Right. And so here to me, it could just be the editing in the photo. This, they look pretty, pretty cool in, in Kelvin temperature, but it looks awesome. Usually we'll do 2,700, like I said, on trees and, and stuff in, in landscape wise, but this looks awesome. And it looks like it's on a, either a golf course or maybe they just have lakefront property and it, uh, I don't know where this is, but man, this is awesome. I don't know. It looks like they have a couple of downlights out, out of the trees as well. I, I don't know if that's just um, some lighting from, from the light down below going up or if uh, that looks like it's a hot spot right there. So maybe they have some downlights, um, which, oh yeah, so that, that right there, there's a downlight there. So that's perfect. Yeah, because you can see you got some awesome light coming down and uh, oh, and there's a dock. So yeah, that makes sense. So they have uh, they have some light coming around on the dock. You'll be able to see at night, go out on the dock, go fishing or or night swimming or whatever. Man, that's awesome. Oh man. Okay. So this is really cool. This looks like Lord of the Rings. Uh, an old. Um, I don't even know what you call it. Lord of the Rings. Like. Water, what is it? like a looks like a water wheel right here. Um, so some kind of old mill or factory or something. I don't know. Um, I guess refurbished maybe that this being used as maybe a restaurant or some kind of business. Um, maybe the behind a restaurant or something. That's the only thing I could think of. But you got some lights on the inside of the water, and it looks like it's making the water like liquid gold <laughs> running down. That is so awesome, and. You got some up lights here, obviously. Um, it looks like a wash light that's just highlighting some of the stone around the side. You still get some darkness and some shadow. Um, and I mean, that looks, that looks really good. And then you highlight this little, this little wooden structure here on the side as well. So you're getting that, the, the real rustic feel with it where you, you have the, the landscaping that you're highlighting and then you have this, this old building. I mean, that's, that's killer, man. <laughs> oh my gosh that is so awesome blue oh my gosh man sorry I just have to soak this up so we got looks like we have instead of just like a blue green light like uh, you can get just blue green bulbs um, that give you sort of that that color but what they did here is they had separate blues and greens all throughout this, uh, this wood wooded area. And that effect looks awesome. You get really good blending. It's, they're not overlapping very much. And it, I mean, you don't get too much dark area either. It's not like you have green over here that it's dark and then it's blue over here. It blends really nicely, man. This is awesome. Oh, geez. I don't even know what to say about this. That's, that's so cool. <laughs> so one thing that I like to talk to customers about is sometimes less light is more. And so that's what I see in this right here. You have from my eyes, there's not many lights. What I can tell is you have one light here under this little Japanese maple. Um, and then you have down lights out of this huge tree behind this little shack. Um, and then maybe some, some downlights over this pergola area, but 
I mean, it does exactly what it needs to do. So my my thoughts are this is mainly for safety because downlighting is a lot of times for safety, but you also get this awesome feeling of, I mean, that you have a full moon just sitting right over top of you. And that's what I see in this. And it's, that's fantastic. It's a little, if, if for an untrained eye, it's a little lackluster. And I'm not saying by any means that it's like, the best project I've ever seen. I, I, it's a nice project, but if you don't know what you're looking for in this picture, you're just like, oh, there's no lights. What are you talking about? But you have to be able to see. It looks like over here on the right side too. Maybe there's some some up lights in the uh, in the trees over to the side, or uh, maybe some down lights or something over there as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. And I love I love lighting around pools. Pools are. I mean, I love going out to the pool in the summer, obviously. I mean, everyone does. Who doesn't? Um, and if if I were to have a pool that had lighting like this, I mean, landscaping too. I mean, the landscaping is, is beautiful. Um, but lighting like this, being able to go out at night, you have the, the pool glowing blue. Um, and then you have just this whole thing. It's encompassing you. It's almost like you're in a room outside. And gosh, that's awesome. It looks like they didn't do anything too crazy. Um in this right here. I mean, I see path lights here, uh, staggered. Um, you have up lights obviously, but, um, I don't know if the, I can't tell if there's any down lights. It looks like what they did just to illuminate the ground is use these path lights. And yeah, I mean the glow from the pool gives you some, some ambient light here in the middle, but yeah, I mean, that's awesome. It looks like over here on the right side, they have a pergola or something. There might be some downlights coming out of there. I think I see a little hot spot there. So that looks like that's that's it for uh, 2021. But I do want to hop into 2020 and just check out some of the stuff from last year. Okay, so this does show who it is and everything. So um, see, best of show. This is best of show of 2020. And I'm sure there's a lot more pictures that, that came with this because when you do your submission for the AOLP awards, uh, you have to do a, a whole presentation basically. So you have a bunch of pictures and explanations on kind of what you had to do and, and different fixtures that you used, amount of fixtures, all that kind of stuff. Um, and so I'm sure there's more than just this picture. It looks like what they did was they, they put some, um, some spotlights on risers, went across the stone here, kind of back and forth. Um, and man, this is, this is awesome. We got the house up here, it looks like, or some kind of structure, maybe some downlighting. Um, yeah, downlighting hotspots there, there. Um, but yeah, no, looks awesome. Really, really nice. So actually this one is a, um, is a project that was done by one of our friends uh, through a, a group that we have online with a bunch of outdoor lighting professionals. Um, his name's Anthony um, and his company, Carolina Outdoor, or California Outdoor Lighting, excuse me. Um, they, uh, they do really good work. And so this, this is a killer. Look at that moonlighting, man. That is awesome. I mean, like it's, it's full coverage of the moonlighting and it's perfectly placed. You have so much, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And then perfectly lit, huge tree. They had to at least done three or four fixtures on that tree to be able to get that much light, um, along with the down lights coming down. You're getting a lot more coverage that way as well. You got the down lights coming out over here. So you have some intersecting areas where you have um, lights coming from either side. Um, on the house, it looks like they didn't overdo it, which is perfect. I mean, they they did, looks like up lights on these posts here all the way around. It looks like a ranch style house, so it's low and long. And so maybe a couple lights up top. Yeah, I can see some gutters right here. Um, so they're just getting kind of a wash on the house. And then, yeah, I mean, God, that's awesome. That's really cool. Oh man. So res this is the small residential. So this is the same category that we won this year. Um, and you see the detail of the stone. Like, I mean, so if you look closely, you can see the placement of these fixtures is really close. And the closer you get, the more of that that detail that you get out of the stone, like I said before, and these guys did it, man. I mean, that's, God, there's so much detail in that stone and it, it's a regular stone too. It's not like it's a brick where it's really uniform or anything like that. That's really cool. This almost looks like an English style cottage or something. Um, nice uplighting and everything. So it looks like they combined a little bit of, 
of new age technology with the stone age technology <laughs> right here they got they got some fire uh, some tiki torches going on right here just to get a little bit more of a tropical feel i guess or or, or something like that i mean if you're sitting out here on these these sofas i mean I'd, I'd, that'd be awesome you got some awesome up lighting it looks like that's in water so maybe that's down lighting or it's shooting across. Maybe maybe they have it on the bank here. No, it, yeah, because it's not downlighting. So it definitely has to be they're shooting across um, to grab the light there. They have probably have a couple different angles where they're coming in with some really high powered, high uh, high lumen output fixtures and um, nice warm color. That's definitely 2700. Even with the editing, it's it's most likely 2700. Um, yeah, that's awesome. All right, and I don't know much about holiday lighting, but this looks really good. I really like the um, when they when they border the peaks like this. Um, you, you're not doing too much. You're not hanging a bunch of lights all down the front and um, and doing every single one. I mean, you really are. It, it, uh, I like simplicity when it comes to holiday lighting. Holiday lighting people go way above what they really should, um, but this is really nice and balanced. And and I really like this. The colors in between here and there on the trees, but then you have the the normal warm white colors i mean yeah it, that's that's really cool thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like for us and hit the subscribe button if you like these kind of videos uh just let us know down in the comments below or if you have any questions on lighting design just uh, do that as well so appreciate you guys for watching we'll see you in the next one